Hi, this is Andrew from Panda Computers, and welcome to our video series on Windows XP. This is a quick tip, and we're going to talk about add-ons for Internet Explorer. What is an add-on? Really simply here, let me open Internet Explorer and explain to it what it is. An add-on is a little snippet of file or code that does something for us quickly. Now let me give you some examples of some add-ons. Add-ons are things like when I go to a web page and I click on a PDF file, the add-on automatically starts Adobe Reader for me. Or if I go to a certain website or different search, it automatically starts it for me. Where do we find them? Now, why do I'm telling you about this? It's because a lot of times they'll get broken. Um, they'll come up and say there's an error with this add-on or whatever it is. They're becoming more and more popular. They kind of automate some of the things we do on the web. There's add-ons for Facebook and MySpace and all that. First of all, don't get carried away. Keep your add-ons to a minimum. A lot of times things get loaded you don't even know that are there and you need to remove them or deactivate them. Okay, keep it simple. The more stuff you add to your internet browser, the more CPU cycles and memory you eat up, the slower your internet connection gets and your computer. Even if you have a big quad processor with 8 gigs of RAM, you load enough on there, it can slow down dramatically. How do we get to add-ons? Simple. We go over here to Tools, or we go over here to Tools, and we go down here to, um, let me see here, do, 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 do. Manage Add-ons, right there. Now, this is Windows Internet Explorer 8. It's very similar in 7, and it's very similar in the new 9, but of course 9 does not work. It says Manage Toolbars. Toolbars are an add-on, accelerators, search providers are all add-ons, and other things, okay? So we go here to our toolbars, and we go down the, and we read. Okay, Google has two or three of them. They're all enabled. Now, we don't really need to worry about that. These are all kind of all this stuff here wrapped up into one is this. We have stuff for Norton. We have stuff for our Hewlett Packard. And it tells you whether they're enabled or disabled. Say you keep getting an error for Adobe, or you keep getting an error for HP or something right now, and you don't have time to figure out what the problem is. You simply can go in here and disable it or get rid of it. Now down here for Skype, see Skype add-on for Internet Explorer. I don't care about add-on for Skype for Internet Explorer. I do use Skype, but I don't care if it's integrated with my Internet Explorer. So I'm going to use this one as an example to get rid of. Watch this. I click on it there, and I can say disable down here, and it's disabled. Skype add-on for Internet Explorer, is, and the related ones are disabled. I click yes, and now it shows both of those are disabled. Now, if I go off here to my Java or something and I come back to it, sometimes on some of these add-ons, once they're disabled, you can actually remove them. Okay, I can re-enable it again if I want it to work. Maybe I'm trying to do something. Some of them can or cannot. Some of them, if I actually click on them or I go down here to OneNote or something, down here in the bottom, it'll actually give me an option to completely remove them out of there. Don't remove them if you don't know what you're doing. Leave that apart alone. Just disable it, and it will stay disabled. Sometimes they reactivate when you reboot the computer, but i will disable that, and then when you pull up your browser, you won't get that error anymore. Managing your add-ons is not easy, but it's not difficult. Just use some common sense. If you get an error on one, just go find it on the list and disable it for now, and it's done. That's it. Add-ons for Internet Explorer. Pretty simple. Don't really complicate it. If you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it. Ask a buddy or a friend. Have a great day.